Hi, this is Worth of YoDemo.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the basics of Audacity. Audacity is a free, open source audio recording software where you can record your podcasts or anything that you want to do with audio. So, this is the website, audacitysourceforge.net. Don't worry, all of the links will be available on my website. On the front page, you see many tabs. The tab that you want to select is the Downloads tab. And from the Downloads tab, what you want to select is either the 1.2 version, which is stable, or the beta. I recommend to pick the stable version. I'm using the Windows platform, so I'm going to select Windows. And in Windows, they tell you all the things that you need to know. And right under it, it gives you a link to where you can install Audacity. So you click on that. You should receive a pop-up and telling you that your download will start and save your download in a directory where you will remember. So I'm going to save it in the downloads. And soon enough your file will finish downloading and you can get on with your life. But let's go back to the downloads page because we want to get an important file. The lame mp3 encoder. For Audacity to create mp3 files, which is one of the files that you can create with Audacity, you need the lame mp3 encoder which is a .dll file and I'll show you how to get that. Click on the link on optional downloads and you click on the lame download page and here you can navigate down and right below the donate button is a zip file and you want to click on it and your download will start. Save it in a directory that you'll remember because we're going to open it. So I'm saving it in the download section of my computer. Soon enough it'll be finished and we can move on by unzipping it and getting ready to install Audacity. The first thing I want to do is unzip this lame mp3 encoder so I'm just gonna double click on it and I'm going to hit the extract all use whatever you're using maybe you have WinZip or some other zipping format program so after you unzip it we can leave it alone for now. Now we're ready to install Audacity so let's ho head over to the Audacity installer. Click on it. I'll ask you if you want to run it. Of course you do. And you just go through the wizard. Next. Yes, you agree. And you continue on. And Audacity should install. And it'll give you the option if you want to launch Audacity. So let's launch it. Why not? So we are finally in Audacity. This is an awesome program for editing your audio. One of the things that you would probably want to do it with Audacity is actually record your voice into the audio. So let's look at a few options inside of the properties. So go to edit. Inside of edit, the last item is preferences. Inside of preferences, we have our first um, tab, which is audio IO, in and out stream, I would assume. You get to pick the playback device. I'm picking my main sound card. And also you get to pick your um, device that you're recording from. So if you're recording from your sound card, you select your sound card. Um, me, I want to record from a USB. Also note, there's one thing you can change. Right here we have the channels. There's the mono channel and there's the stereo channel. Stereo is better quality because it records a uh, left uh, individual sound for left and right opposed to just mono where it records everything on one track so you'll see what I mean okay well I'm ready now just press OK let's look at some of the controls before we start recording we have the play we have record pause stop um, skip to the end and skip to the beginning or go back to the beginning we have the control uh, the value the volume output which doesn't affect the recording but we do have the microphone volume or the input volume which re record which affects how loud your recording is we have um, we have all these editing tools which we'll get into there's a lot of stuff in this but for now let's just do a simple recording so I'm using the same microphone I'm just gonna say hello governor and I'll replay that hello governor and you can see that we've Finally, we've did a little recording. If you were doing a podcast, of course, you would talk for a lot longer. Let's do some simple editing with this. 
um, for the end part of this, I don't really need this. So what I have is my selection tool or a simple select tool and I just click from a point and move over and I highlight an area that I don't want. The next thing you want to do is just press the delete button and it removes the audio. It's that simple. So let's say I don't want a piece in the middle here. I just select it, press delete, and it closes it from there. So that's how we do some simple editing. So if you're doing a podcast, make a lot of mistakes, don't want to have something in there, then that's how you do it. And I can highlight the whole thing and delete it. If I don't want this track anymore, then I would just click on these X and that will remove it. So let's record one more time and export it. Hi, this is a test of my audio. So I like this test. Once you're done with once you're done recording your audio, what you want to do is save it. And I'm going to export as MP3. Now usually what will happen is it comes up with a question as to where is your the lame encoder. So what you would do is navigate to the encoder and select it. But since I've already done it, you can I'll j I can just save it. So I'll just save it as sound test. That was it for the basics. Thanks for watching. Make sure you head over to my website for all the links and information. Also, click on an attitude to support yodemo.com.